The Richmond District, San Francisco, California, is one of the largest, most diverse, and in my opinion, most beautiful neighborhoods in the whole city. And it's also the place that I call home. My family moved from Knob Hill to the Richmond when I was about 12 years old, and we've been living here ever since. So what is the Richmond exactly? Well, it's this spot right here, north of Golden Gate Park, west of Argola Boulevard, south of the Presidio, and east of the beach. It was one of the last places in the city to be developed, and because it was nothing but rolling sand dunes for miles, it was deemed uninhabitable. Huh, imagine that. And it wasn't until 1866 that the Richmond was even considered part of San Francisco. Before then, it was still owned by Mexico, and the locals simply referred to it as the outside lands. And so that's where I think we'll start this journey, all the way on the edge of the city, right here on Ocean Beach. Now, it's fairly quiet here, but just a few short decades ago, there used to be so much more. Iconic SF landmarks used to pepper this side of the city, so let's go on a little tour of what used to be here and what's here now. Now, I don't visit this area as often as I'd like, but if I was born maybe 30 years earlier, I'd probably be out here almost every weekend because in this spot right here used to be the old amusement park, Playland at the Beach. Yep, this spot right here that's now home to apartment buildings, restaurants, and the Safeway, it used to be home to a seaside carnival. And I'm not talking about some rinky-dink parking lot fair. No, Playland was legit. It had spinning rides, it had fun houses, log flumes, bumper cars, roller coasters, midway games, hot dog stands, the works. Thankfully, some of the attractions from Playland still live on in other places. The carousel that used to be here is now in a safe spot downtown at Yerba Buena Center. It's Oregon? Well, it found a home at the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. And one of the original Laughing Sal animatronics ended up right here at the Cliff House. Now this used to be one of my favorite places to go to in the entire city. And not just because there's a beautiful sunset here, but because they used to have an old museum dedicated to these really, really old mechanical games called Musée Mechanique. They've since relocated to Fisherman's Wharf, but that doesn't make the Cliff House any less appealing to visit. This historical building actually has been rebuilt several times due to fires, but it looks like the current version is here to stay. So if you've never seen the camera obscure, basically what it is is that it collects a bunch of images from a mirror on the roof of this building and projects it onto this little dish right here. This so gives us a 360 degree view of the entire area. Up the hill from Playland's old spot and then back down the other side, we get to see another former attraction. This time, it's the Sutro Baths. Built in the late 19th century, it was a massive swimming spot for locals who dared not to brave the freezing Pacific Ocean. I'm talking huge. This place was built with hundreds, if not thousands of tons of iron, concrete, and lumber, and it had a glass ceiling of 100,000 square feet. Now, over the decades, they added an aquarium, a museum, and an ice skating rink, but it was eventually torn down in the 60s in preparation for a high-rise apartment building. But then that caught fire and they just decided it was best to abandon the whole thing. And now, well, I guess you could technically still swim here, but all that remains is the concrete footprint of a once iconic structure. I think it's funny how so much of this area has changed over the decades and not because of gentrification or tech moving in. I think before long enough, just time gets the better of everyone. Okay, that was a little depressing. Uh, but now that this area is no longer a thriving tourist spot that it once was, filled with water slides and roller coasters, it really has taken on a new identity. Now out here, the Richmond is wild, and I don't mean that in the partying sense, really. I mean that in just how it looks. Look at the cliff sides, the caves, the powerful ocean currents. The rugged terrain is unlike anything else in the city, I think. At the same time though, it's very peaceful, serene, and I think that it's a perfect balance between adventure and tranquility out here. So 
hope you guys enjoyed that little tour of the, the western edge of the city, but there's still more to the Richmond than just the beaches and just the cliff sides. There are the restaurants, the arts, the festivals, uh, just the little pockets of diversity you'll find all over the place. It may only be a small part of what is an ever-changing city, but it's a neighborhood that is as resilient as it is beautiful. So we're going to explore more of what the Richmond District has to offer. From the food, to the culture, the architecture, and everything else in between that makes this part of San Francisco so special. <laughs>